My name is Gemma Hallam and I am an engagement officer at Learn by Design. I work on the NCS Youth Programme. I've nominated Lucy and Sam um, for the Environmental Hero Award. They worked amazingly well together in their team. They're really motivational and um, sort of organise their team really well to make them achieve really incredible things over the course of their project. As part of their NCS project they really wanted to raise awareness about the problem of littering around Bristol and focus in particular on the impact of plastics on the marine environment. So they wanted to um, create a trail, uh, a bit like the Gromit Trail around Bristol, um, but instead of having like Wallaces and Gromits they would have um, a series of sculptures that were made out of rubbish that would represent marine animals. The idea would be to put Terry the turtle on top of a bin where you could make the bin a little bit more visible for people to use and help reduce the problem of litter around the city. Um, but also on the bin it would have a QR code that you could scan with your phone that would then take you to an app. Um, so on the app you would be able to collect all the different animals, it would tell you more information about the animals and how plastic and litter sort of harms its environment. On top of that, they did some research. So they spoke to over 150 people to see whether this idea that they had would have support in the community. Um, and it was a resounding yes, there was loads of support for this idea, people loved it. Um, but now they also have some hard evidence um, to hopefully propel this project forward into the future to actually come to fruition. I'm nominating Katie Page for the Environmental Hero Award. Katie was part of the NCS Youth Programme this summer and she was a really um, inspirational leader for her team. Um, she worked really hard and kept everyone smiling around her. Katie and her team were really passionate about trying to reduce plastic waste around Bristol to try and help the environment. They partnered up with an organisation called City to Sea and wanted to support their refill project. Katie sort of led the coordination with City to Sea. Um, she was really organised, a great project manager um, and the pro project that they did was really, really successful. And I think part of the reason that it was so successful is because Katie was really good at taking on board people's in input and um, suggestions and sort of ways that it could be tweaked to be a little bit improved. Um, and she was great at taking all of that on board and put it into the video and it's amazing, it's so much fun. My name is Ben Carpenter and I'm a youth and community worker. Catherine Rowe and it's the Environmental Hero Award. I first started working with Catherine so at primary school and she was doing forest school sessions with us. So Catherine helped build a roundhouse, basically she helped build a youth club from scratch. So every other week she comes in and she says she's doing something different. She's a young carer um, for her sister. Um, she's had various different kind of struggles but she just gets involved in everything. She's absolutely passionate about helping others. I just wanted to make sure that she knows that um, we appreciate everything she's done and to be honest whatever happens in the future I think she'll be fine just because she's driven. <laughs>